welcome to another Sci-Fi Fantasy Saturday, and I am continuing with my discovery or discussion or whatever you want to call it regarding Steve Jackson games and their small, short filler games, and today we're talking about Cthulhu Dice. Uh, I recently uh, got bitten by some zombies, and so I had enough time to... Uh, finish up that video so take a look at that I'll put a link to that into this one as well because these games are even though they're thematically different they're a little bit related in that they are quick dice games from Steve Jackson games now this is Cthulhu dice um, and really it should be Cthulhu die because all you have is one die in this game um, and uh, you roll this dice, and depending on what you roll on the side, you're going to be either giving up or or taking or distributing or redistributing these insanity beads. This is basically the currency of the game. And so uh, it's a real quick game. As I said, all you have is one die here, and you roll it. And depending on what you roll is what you get. Hey, there's an advertisement for zombie dice. Right, there we go. Uh, so... Here you go. Here's the rules here. You basically, uh, if you roll the yellow sign on this, uh, your target, whoever you were rolling against, loses one sanity to Cthulhu. Push one token to the middle of the table. So this, the uh, you'll have a middle of the table. You'll have, everybody has, starts off with a certain number of these uh, sanity beads. And then there's um, uh, uh, Cthulhu is the middle of the table. If you roll a tentacle, then take one sanity from a victim, whether the caster or the victim uh, rolls the tentacle, or the victim rolls the tentacle. If the caster is mad, he attacks. Uh, he does not get to keep the stolen sanity. It goes to Cthulhu. So you roll the Elder sign, or you roll the Cthulhu sign, or if you roll the I, you get to choose you know anything up above. But basically, you're going to be rolling. It's, it's very random, okay, if you can't figure that out, because you're using a die as your uh, determining factor of what happens. But whatever symbol you roll, you're gonna follow one of these, uh, uh, you're gonna follow whatever is related to that symbol, and you're gonna be either taking beads from somebody or giving beads to the middle or what have you until uh, winning the game, you win if you're the only one with any sanity left at the end of a turn. So. Madness. Once you lose all your sanity, you've gone mad. On your turn, you can still attack, but no one can attack you. Uh, so you're still in the game. You're still rolling the the Cthulhu die, but you know you're kind of out of the game because you're you're mad. So you want to end up with some of uh, you know at least one of these left at the end of the turn with nobody else having any. So again, this as I was talking about with zombie dice is very much a filler game. It doesn't take very long to play. I mean, this could actually, if you're rolling quick and once you you know know what symbols and what you're supposed to do with the different symbols, uh, I mean, this game goes really, really quick. Uh, and you can play it like in five minutes. Uh, but again, this is kind of a, a one of those, uh, unlike Zombie Dice is more of a pressure luck. This is really just more of a, it, it kind of, to me, it harkens back to that, what is that, uh, right, left, center game where you roll the dice and it tells you to pass chips to the right, left, or center. And, you know, once you're out of chips, you're out of the game. This feels very similar. This has some of the exact same kind of concepts. However, you know, you uh, instead of just regular chips, you have this sanity beads, uh, and the symbols are a little bit different. You have more than just right, left, and center. You, there's different th uh, features that you get to do, and there's a little bit more decision uh, decisions you can make on this as opposed to right, left, center. You just follow whatever the dice says. So this is a step up from that, but not a big step up from that. Anyway, so this is uh, Cthulhu Dice. Uh, should be die. Um, and... Uh, Anyway, I thought I would be sharing that with you or wanted to share that with you as I'm kind of starting to branch into a little bit of my Steve Jackson games. I have a lot of those. Steve Jackson games have been around for a long time. Uh, some interesting designs out there. And, uh, yeah, just thought I would uh, start discovering some of these, especially these filler games, because they have a space. They have a, a, a space and a place 
uh, in your collection, or at least in my collection. Uh, I've played these waiting in line or waiting for people to show up for a game night or just as a cool down at the end of the evening. They're just real simple, and uh, this one is very chaotic, and so you really can't get into it too much of... Uh, uh, or, or, or get too much uh, hard feelings because it's very chaotic. Anyway, that's what I have for today. If you've got any thoughts or comments on it, feel free to drop them down below. Thanks all. Take care and stay sane. Thanks for watching.